Immersive learning is redefining what is possible for the learning experience in higher education. To tackle these growing needs, San Diego State University is launching the Virtual Immersive Teaching and Learning Research Center, an incubator for research and content creation of immersive learning experiences. VITAL, the Virtual Immersive Teaching and Learning Research Center, started as just one headset back in 2016. And now, five years later, we have this formal research center where faculty will be able to expand the use of these technologies and investigate what types of scenarios are most effective for students. VITAL gives us an opportunity to demonstrate at this point in time, is the technology good enough and ready enough to be taken to more courses? This is really early days for immersive learning. There's been very little scholarship. So we have that commitment to taking a scholarly approach to this work because that has credibility. To kick off the Vital Research Center in 2022, SDSU launched a call for proposals to faculty across the university interested in incorporating and researching extended reality in their courses. This is a huge game changer here. There's so many great opportunities for making meaningful artistic interactions in a partly digital, partly physical space that can only lead to some fascinating outcomes. We are in a world that is, we get distracted all the time. So to be able to actually go in a space where there are no distraction and study what does it mean in terms of processing of information and, and recall is very important. It's not just about reading about something, but you actually can feel something as well. And VR has a capability to help students by giving them that kind of safe space to explore their own ideas, their own sense of self, their own sense of competence. Immersive experiences and story experiences within a classroom, I believe actually makes the lesson can be more memorable. And the retention, I think, can be stronger. It gives us a lot of expertise from people who know how to use VR, know how to apply VR in classes, know how to assess um, if it's working with students. This all falls out of my expertise as an organic chemist, so having this expertise added in is just invaluable. When it comes to uh, evaluating different design options, students can uh, implement a design, put the virtual reality goggle on, and really feel how would it feel like to be an occupant of this building with this design. The university is very much focused on reaching R1 status. And what that means is that we need to continue moving our research agenda forward. And we want to be innovative in that research. So I think that as we take on this project, it will really give us a framework and a platform to continue research that is meaningful to address wicked problems that we see in society. As a woman, you know, I felt certain microaggressions since I am in the IT field. Maybe someone who's not a woman wouldn't understand some of the uncomfortable feelings or the stress that comes about being in these situations. So using VR helps you have more empathy for that person. So the path to creating XR content is really being paved here at ITS because there's no book on it. So we're taking what we know in the production process from filmmaking and applying it towards creating XR content. We're expanding into Mission Valley. Uh, we're building out an innovation district. And the work we're doing as far as that research and development is going to inform what we do in Mission Valley moving forward. The Vital Research Center will continue to grow through industry partnerships and collaborations with campuses across the country, revolutionizing the classroom with empirically based immersive instruction. For more information on how to participate in the Vital Research Center, visit its.sdsu.edu slash innovation slash vital.